Let's cake a batch of beer again. Homebrew Brewery. Before I'm going to start kegging in this video, I'm going to pour myself a beer. This keg contains my Antemem Rail. That's the, actually the first brew that I did with my new homebrew setup. There's a video available on my channel. It's uh, about three videos before this one. I really like this uh, kind of beer, guys. Uh, I got a lot of questions about uh, the recipe, but uh, I've got the recipe from uh, Steel Jan. I will put a link in the more info section. Uh, she made a video about the brew in a bag method of all grain brewing and she got me into the brew in a bag style brewing uh, about six years ago I guess and it's become my favorite recipe I really liked it uh, I will grab myself a clean glass and I will show you how it looks as you guys know my keyser is gone I told that already but it's extremely cold outside, about uh, minus 3, and it's in a brewery about 4 degrees, so that's a perfect temperature to, uh, to pour a beer. And let's take a look at this beauty. Brewed by Home Beer Brewery. Check this out. Well, do I need to say more about this beer? Check the clarity, it's uh, really nice and clear. It's a beautiful color. And uh, uh, man, I did just a one step mesh, I believe it was uh, at 63 degrees Celsius for about 90 minutes. And check the head out. Whoops. Hopefully it's focused. Oh man, come on. Well, nice and creamy, thick, and uh, I've got some lacing. I will show you. You see that as well? Mm, this is really my. My favorite beer. I wish you could uh, taste it and smell it. It has a great aroma of the hops that I used and definitely the crystal malts are coming through. <sighs> Cheers guys. Looks great, doesn't it? Well, it tastes great too. Let's give it an automatic focus again. Here we go. I'm sanitizing a keg right now, off camera. And when the keg is sanitized, we will continue to keg straight out of my um, Chronicle fermenter. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, it's going to be a really fast video, I promise, because it's really simple. I finished sanitizing the keg and now I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to keg this batch of beer. First piece is a hose barb that fits the upper valve of my fermenter. Some silicon tubing, you can also use other tubing but I use silicon. It's food safe, food grade. And I use a submersible pump. It was off eBay. I think it was about 7 euros and it's really easy and nice to use to pump the star sand through your hose to make sure it's proper sanitized. So that's uh, important. A uh, plastic container to hold the star sand. Star sand of course and a spray bottle with uh, some stars and solution in it. Well, I'm going to start to add the parts to the plastic container. I have here the rest of the stars in that came out of the sanitized keg. I'm going to attach uh, the hose on the pump. 
I'm just going to fit the pump on the hose like this and put it inside the star sand solution completely inside the star sand solution and I'm going to switch the pump on here it goes I will let the pump run for about five minutes then I'm sure the hose is completely sanitized very well sanitized guys do yourself a favor if you're still sanitizing your hoses manually buy yourself a cheap pump like this one it's about seven euros online it saves a lot of time to drink homebrew for example easy cake day isn't it I will see you uh, back in about five minutes small tip from my side again buy yourself a piece like this I don't know how you pronounce that in English uh, something like a storage shelf or a storage rack or something this one is made out of plastic really light lightweight and I bought this because it is a stand for my mastern but also when I'm going to remove the upper shelf come on it's the perfect height for filling my keg I will show that right now sanitizing the upper valve with the wrecking arm inside the chronicle I'm just using star hand spray solution just spraying it inside the opening of the ball valve it uh, should be enough I've sanitized the hose barb and the silicon hose I'm going to attach the hose barb on it This should be enough. I think I'm going to pour just a little bit straight out of the chronicle like it is now because there can be a little bit of uh, yeast sediment still in the racking arm. So small measuring cup just opening the valve for a short time. Now it's it's clear. No, it's clear. Well, no yeast anymore inside the wrecking arm and the valve. Guys, I'm going to open the keg, which is already sanitized. Power down the pump. Here I have the sanitized hose, putting it inside the keg, attaching the silicon hose on the hose barb, the upper valve on the fermenter. Take a look. Sanitizing the airlock and the bung, which is on the fermenter, removing the airlock, here we go, switching back to the keg, this is why this uh, storage shelf is really easy, you put the keg right on it, it has the right distance for the, the length of the hose that I have, um, it remains only opening the upper valve, let's uh, keg this batch of beer. Here we go. Check this out, really nice and clear. Straight into the keg. I'm just going to let the camera roll. This is actually my first time kegging straight out of this uh, particle fermenter of this is Brutech. It needs my attention. Let's see how far the beer is. Oh, I can see. Star sand foam is coming out. It's a great. Uh, it's always great 
never fear the foam. I guess I'm going to remove the the lid on the Chronicle because I can't see how far the beer level is. There's about 20 liters of uh, beer inside and I have to turn the upper valve to turn the racking arm with the beer. So I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And no, I'm not doing a closed transfer. That's something for the future with the other valves. This is just a thing in the edge, shooting video. I'm taking my first batch that I fermented in the Chronicle, but all for the sake of the video. Pretty great. Ooh, smells nice. Smells really good. Yeah, I'm going to open the valve a little bit more. You can still see this uh, a lot of star sand foam coming off. Not a problem. pleased and really happy beer is so clear and I'm trying to give you a, a look inside the fermenter when the, when kegging this batch is uh, finished the wrecking arm is not inside the beer level is about uh, here I guess yeah, here we go. Yeah, I can. Yeah, it's working. Oh, you have to see this, but I can grab the camera now. And it's empty. Wrecking arm is uh, um, aiming downwards now, and this is the, the maximum that I can get out of the of the fermenter. <coughs> well, removing the hose. Is that a good idea? I don't know. First time on, on this one. Probably going to leak, isn't it? Well, I have a tunnel over here. We do it like this, just as expected. It's going to leak a little bit, but it's no problem. I'm going to remove the hose. It's going inside the container. Hopefully you can see all this. Come with me, guys. Okay. Hopefully it's focused. As you can see, a lot of stars in foam. There's the lid, sanitized. Yeah, there's about yeah, approximately 19 18, 18 and a half, uh, maybe 19, I can't see it right now, but uh, I will uh, probably going to show you later the level of the beer in the keg. Well, that's about it. That's the inside of the Chronicle. There's not much yeast at the, at the side of the walls. And there's about one liter, I guess, left in the Chronicle. So, now I have some cleaning up to do. I know the last part of this Sombra Wednesday video isn't going to be edited as you uh, expect from me guys. It was just raw footage of me starting kegging this batch in the keg, closing the lid and just a sneak peek inside the Chronicle. Um, 
I guess there's about one liter left and I pulled a lot of yeast off with the yeast dump. I have a video online uh, on my channel as well of that. I guess there's 18 liters inside the keg and I know I'm, uh, I can probably weigh it and weigh the keg and weigh it again and I know for sure how much beer is inside the keg but that's something for the future. Uh, I know I can do close transfers. I am going to do that with the uh, butterfly valves all in the next videos, I, uh, I promise. I'm very pleased. Um, just some cleaning up to do. Guys, thank you all for watching. It was uh, a messy on Blue Wednesday, uh, quick and everything in a hurry, but I wanted to share this with you guys, uh, even when I don't have a lot of time. I uh, have to um, hurry up, uh, I have to go now. Cheers, thanks for watching, and I'm going to rest, drink the rest of this delicious homebrew. It's, uh, it's fantastic. Try it yourself. Uh, check out uh, the video of Stillian. Uh, thanks, cheers, bye bye.